is the day. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. Truly, this is the day that the Lord has made good singing. And we begin our Mass in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us acknowledge our sins and ask for God's mercy and forgiveness. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. <laughs> Glory to God in the highest and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world. Receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. You alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who gave us the Paschal mystery in the covenant you established for reconciling the human race to dispose our minds, we pray, so that we celebrate by professing the faith we may express in deeds. Grant this prayer through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. After the crippled man had been cured, while Peter and John were still speaking to the people, the priests, the captain of the temple guard, and the Sadducees confronted them, disturbed that they were teaching the people and proclaiming in Jesus the resurrection of the dead. They laid hands on Peter and John and put them in custody until the next day, since it was already evening. But many of those who heard the word came to believe, and the number of men grew to about 5,000. On the next day, their leaders, elders, and scribes were assembled in Jerusalem with Annas the high priest, Caiaphas, John, Alexander, and all who were of the high priestly class. They brought them into their presence and questioned them, By what power or what name have you done this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, answered them, 
leaders of the people and elders, if we are being examined today about a good deed done to a cripple, namely by what means he was saved, then all of you and all the people of Israel should know that it was in the name of Jesus Christ the Nazarene whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. In his name this man stands before you healed. He is the stone rejected by you, the builders, which has become the cornerstone. There is no salvation through anyone else, nor is there any other name under heaven given to the human race by which we are to be saved. The word of the Lord. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. The stone rejected by the builders has become the cornerstone. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Israel say, his mercy endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, his mercy endures forever. The stone, the stone rejected, rejected by, by the, the builders, builders has, has become, become the, the cornerstone. cornerstone. The stone which the builders rejected has become the cornerstone. By the Lord has this been done. It is wonderful in our eyes. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. The stone, the stone rejected, rejected by, by the builders, builders has become the cornerstone. cornerstone. O Lord, grant salvation. O Lord, grant prosperity. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has given us light. The, the stone, stone rejected, rejected by, by the, the builders, builders has become the cornerstone. Alle, alleluia, alle, alleluia, alle, alleluia. Alle, alleluia, alle. Alleluia, alle, alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alle, alleluia, alle, alleluia, alle, alleluia. Alle, alleluia, alle. Alleluia, alle, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Jesus revealed himself again to his disciples at the Sea of Tiberias. He revealed himself in this way. Together we are Simon Peter, Thomas called Didymus, Nathanael from Cana in Galilee, Zebed's son, and two others of his disciples. Simon Peter said to them, I am going fishing. They said to him, We also will come with you. So they went out and got into the boat, but that night they caught nothing. When it was already dawn, Jesus was standing on the shore. But the disciples did not realize that it was Jesus. Jesus said to them, Children, have you caught anything to eat? They answered him, No. So he said to them, Cast the net over the right side of the boat, and you'll find something. So they cast it, and were not able to pull it in because of the number of fish. So the disciple whom Jesus loved said to Peter, It is the Lord. When Simon Peter heard that it was the Lord, he tucked in his garment, for he was lightly clad, and jumped into the sea. The other disciples came in the boat, for they were not far from shore, only about a hundred yards, dragging the net with the fish. When they climbed out on, the sh on shore, they saw a charcoal fire with fish on it and bread. Jesus said to them, Bring some of the fish you just caught. So Simon Peter went over and dragged the net ashore, full of 153 large fish. Even though there were so many, the net was not torn. Jesus said to them, Come, have breakfast. 
And none of the disciples dared to ask him, Who are you? Because they realized it was the Lord. Jesus came over and took the bread and gave it to them, and in like manner the fish. This was now the third time Jesus was revealed to his disciples after being raised from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Jesus Christ was following his disciples wherever they were going after his resurrection. He understood very well the confusion which was in their mind. He understood very well the emptiness that they felt without his presence as a human being in, his own, in the body that they knew, in the body that they touched, the body that they saw, it was very different in their lives. We can just imagine uh, how it feels uh, in that way, in the way we have lost our beloved ones. Almost all of us here, we have lost somebody that we love uh, through death. And we feel the emptiness. We feel the kind of just being lost in this world. Uh, but that experience is filled all, always with our faith. Faith filled that emptiness. And that's what Christ was bringing back to the disciples, that they should have faith in the different risen Savior. And that filled their up, the emptiness. They realized the Lord was with them, even in the different form, even in the transformed body of the risen Savior. And he followed them to guide them back to their mission. The example we have had in this uh, gospel today, he reminded them, you know, when they went fishing for the real fish, they caught nothing. Until his word came to them, they were able to catch something. Jesus is teaching them, you have to go back to the mission. And the only way you can catch, remember he told them, you are now fishers of men, fishers of people. And that's what is symbolic about this uh, cast, cast out the nest. It's about people. It's about the mission that they were called to. And they, every time when he met with them, they realized it is the Lord. So that emptiness was going away. That confusion was going away. They were able to understand and come back to the ministries. And then we hear today, he made breakfast for them. And he provided to them. He gave them to eat. Again, it's a symbol of the Eucharist. But at the same time, it's the mission that they had to preach and also to reach out to the needs of the people they preached to. And that's what Jesus was teaching them even after the resurrection. And that's what we have seen Peter and John, they did. They were able to give life to a crippled person and they were able to tell everybody who was listening, even those who arrested them, that Jesus is the source of life. And whatever they wanted to, to, to say, Peter and John and other disciples were convinced. We are going to carry on with the goodness of the Lord, and we are going to preach about this, uh, the Lord that they believed in. So the disciples of today is you and I. Even our emptiness we have to feel the presence of the risen Savior. Even our confusion of understanding things, why things are happening the way they do, we have to know the risen Savior is, uh, for, uh, is there for us, is there to fill uh, that gaps in our relationship with one another, our relationship with God. So today, we are Peter and John. Let's go out there and continue. Like Peter said, if you are questioning us about the good deed, you know, they were questioned about the good deeds. And the world is questioning even today about the good deeds of Christianity. So many Christians are being arrested and killed because of just the goodness, not because of the badness or evil, but even the goodness can make people push us back, but we have to carry on. And that's what Peter and John, they are teaching us. They received everything from the risen Savior and they were able to carry the mission, preaching and reaching out to the needs of others. 
Let us now present our petitions and all our needs to the Lord. That in this Eucharist we may feel close to the risen Christ and through him appreciate that we are all brothers and sisters together, we pray to the Lord. That throughout the world, from the rising of the sun to its setting, this offering of thanksgiving may give glory to God, we pray to the Lord. That those who are in prison around the world because of their Christian faith may unite themselves with Peter and John, who while under arrest continue to be filled with the consolation of the Holy Spirit, we pray to the Lord. That the work of people in the health professions may be blessed as they strive to bring healing to all those who are sick and reassurance and comfort to families, we pray to the Lord. Lord that all who exercise various ministries during Holy Week and Easter liturgies in our parish community will receive abundant blessings from God during this week of the resurrection, we pray to the Lord that this International Mother Earth Day will encourage us to, to fulfill its theme, invest in our world, so that a safe environment will protect the lives of all people, we pray to the Lord. Lord Almighty God and Father of light, we give thanks to you for, you love, for your love is without end. Grant salvation to the whole world through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of man's hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of man's hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Pray, my dear sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. Perfect within us, O Lord, we pray, the solemn exchange brought about by these Paschal offerings, that we may be drawn from earthly desires to a longing for the things of heaven through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly really right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but above all in this time to lord you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed, for he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic horse sing together and handing him of your glory as they acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. 
Make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like they do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we, we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come, until you come, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring out the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us, O we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may marry to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may present glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Gracious grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace, I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and gracious grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your Let us now offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. A new day, quitoris peccata mundi, miserere nobis. A new day, quitoris peccata mundi, miserere nobis. A new day. Quitoris peccata.
Pata Mundi Dona Nobis Pace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but on say the word, and my soul shall be healed. have to be a sanctuary. You know the sanctuary, this area, so you have to be a sanctuary in your hearts. Be good in your classroom, be show love to one another, and be peaceful in the classroom, okay? So good to have you, and good singing again. Let us pray. Keep safe, O Lord, we pray, those whom you have saved by your kindness, that redeemed by the passion of your Son, they may rejoice in his resurrection, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. 
May the Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth in the peace and love of Christ. The Mass is ended. Alleluia, alleluia. Our closing hymn can be found on page 637 of our Lead Me, Guide Me, the Green Hymnal, page 637. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. This little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm going to let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm going to let it shine. Everywhere I go, I'm going to let it shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine.